Coach, 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 why you don't want to give me an interview, man? How's it going, coach? Man, I ain't even on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. And try to get me in an interview. Hey, Malapi, Malapi, he try to get a free interview for me. He try to get a free interview for me. I, 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 I need half a million, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't be putting this voice out there like that. People know what it is. You know what I'm talking about? What's cracking though? What's popping? Let them know what you got coming. Ah, shit. We got Independence Day in Belize popping. Just got a plug also in the Bahamas and a whole Caribbean for me to be representing the whole region on some boxing moving forward with our countries. And I know, I know so, you got some pros. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got, I got. Uh, Maurice Lee on the top end, Devon, uh, Donald Brown Jr., Jacob Cuevas. My newest coming out is Dangerous Demarion, uh, Ingram. Um, who else we got on the pro side? Um, you know, I got Zarina, Cash Flow. The list is forever, you know what I'm saying? We got some little young, weak amateurs like Ruben, you know what I'm saying? AKA Pretty Boy, a little. Uh, Romanian, Ukrainian type, so whatever the hell he is. <laughs> I say, <laughs> this guy looking like Rocky Balboa looking ass. Yeah, man. What's happening though? What's happening with it? Huh? Belize Independence Day. That that's the main focus. Then we got uh. I got a uh, Virginia November 2nd. It's a Belize car right here. So, um, just a lot, man. We got a lot on the plate. A lot of stuff for the Caribbean. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, that's my biggest project right now is making the uh, Belize uh, like a hub for the boxing in the Caribbean. And you do work hard, man. You're in here every day. What's that in office? Like, you know, what's going on with your everyday schedule? It's just the. the Hours don't feel like the hours when you're having a good time. So like since I've been in the gym 10 hours a day, I don't even feel it because it's just home. It is what I do. So you know what I mean? But shit, 10, 12 hours a day in the gym ain't shit. And, and, and for anybody out there that want to do what you do, yeah. I don't know what that's like. Oh, it's a lot of hard work, a whole lot of patience, a whole lot of dedication. You know what I'm saying? You better love this shit if you don't love it. Just leave it alone because you ain't going to make a bunch of money off, off this shit at the beginning. You're going to be spending a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Making a lot of sacrifices, looking out for a gang of cats, making people believe in themselves. Don't, don't even believe in themselves or can't see the vision. So, I mean, a, a coach is a, just like I said, it's a special, it's a special job. It's not, a, it's, it's, it's not a job that most people can handle. Some may want it until they really get into it and they can't fuck with being a coach. Be, being a coach is 24 hours, seven days a week, 365. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, Coach to Coach is the name of my podcast coming out, you know, and um, it's just basically, you know, a lot of coaches talking to each other, and then we also have the part where, you know, athletes, you know, that sometimes they don't give, they get a chance to give that particular coach the credit for really changing their, their lives indirectly or directly, and then um, some coaches that's, that never get seen, never get credited, because a lot of it takes a lot, a few coaches to get a particular fighter or athlete to their to, to, to their destination, you know. So I just want the show to be more on the pers the personalities of coaches, the effort, the work that they put in, the countless hours, you know what I'm saying, the sacrifices they make to even pass on the information they have to their athletes, whether boxer, ball player, whatever. You know, this this is a real full time job. So at the end of the day. Hey man, um, most people that try to do this coaching thing, I pray for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the facts. All right, all right. And uh, any, any last minute thing you want to say to the world, say to the camera and let them know? Like, anything um, just, you know, whoever you are, anybody in this world, from a, from a baby all the way up, don't let nobody dictate. Don't let nobody control the narrative of your life. Don't let nobody tell you it's too late to do something. Let nobody say, oh, don't do that. No, it's your life. And it's your life only. So do what you have to do and just be great at it. Just work hard to be great at it. You're not going to be great in the beginning. You're going to suck like everybody else unless you put in that time, that endless hours of repetition. 
and consistency and dedication and hard work and blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> and I can go the fuck on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Y'all know where it is. Already.